Hello? The doors are locked. That is... There's no way. Cause that was straight oh up like I thought there was a kid running around there, there, down there here. There was. There was kids. I, like, I, I, eh. Okay, we need to actually ask them. I have because the doors. This, this door is locked. Okay, yeah, you know, show that that door is locked. This is this is locked, right? This is locked. You can't get in here. How? Okay. So I heard like literally a girl, little girl. Yeah, if not loud. More than, I heard them running around. Two, three, like laughing. And literally loud. Playing. <sighs> Film me for a sec. Okay, sorry to drop you guys in here. We just got to the Lem Mansion and we were literally just talking upstairs and heard a sound of a child like giggling and running like loud, like it was a human in here. And that's why I was like, oh, someone has to have a kid here. Nope. I started rolling right when we came downstairs. Hello? Hello? This is like, again, one of those things where you have to be here. And it's like, this is daytime. Yeah. And I just literally thought, like, it's like that guy's kids. I thought it was too. So I thought he hadn't left yet and he's got his kids down here. He's gone. There's nobody here. If you're looking for a good scare this Halloween, the Lent Mansion may be the perfect place for you. The Lent Mansion is one of the most haunted places in America. A lot of things that happen frighten people. Other things are, people are kind of exhilarated by it. Sometimes it'll cause you a sense of sadness or there's been a lot of tragedy here in this family. It's been said that there are some restless spirits in the Lent Mansion. At one point, I had brought a little teddy bear from home. I was doing a, um, a film with a group called the Booth Brothers. And I set the teddy bear down on the stairs. And we went about and they were interviewing me and we, they were talking and I looked up on those stairs and the teddy bear was up in the air, swaying back and forth, um, as if a little boy had, was playing. There are nine identifiable spirits here in this house. And one of them is a spirit that I used to call the stinky man. The first time I encountered him though, he told me to get out, my house, get out, and stuff like that. So. And I didn't go, so he wasn't too pleased with me. There are also wandering spirits that uh, are drawn to the Lent Mansion because of all the spirit energy, the paranormal energy that is in this house. And we do have, uh, we do have communications with them as well. spirits here in this historic home. The Lump Mansion is rated one of the top nine haunted places in America. Okay guys, so I'm going to do a full length video about the history of the Lemp family and the Lemp mansion and the hauntings for this week's Scary Story Saturday. It'll be posted on Saturday here on the channel, but for now, since this video is already super long, I'm going to give you an abbreviated version of the history of the Lemp mansion. John Adam Lemp arrived in St. Louis, Missouri in 1838, immigrating from Germany. With him, he brought a skill that no one in America really possessed at the time, the ability to brew lagered beer. 
After arriving in St. Louis, John started a grocery store, but abandoned it in 1840 after seeing that lager beer was the golden future of American alcohol. In 1840, he built the first Lent Brewery, which was a massive success, and he effectively brought lager beer to St. Louis. The Lent Brewery was so successful that in 1864, they built a massive facility that would go on to churn out millions of gallons of beer. In fact, the Lemps were so successful that they were millionaires. The Lemp Mansion itself was constructed in the 1860s and soon became the home of the family and used as an auxiliary brewery office. William Lemp, John Adam Lemp's son, succeeded his father in running the business, and he built it into an empire. In the year 1870, the Lemp Brewery was the largest in St. Louis, but it would soon be dwarfed in size and business success by the Anheuser-Busch Brewery, which was built extremely close by. The Anheuser-Busch Brewery would go on to create American beer staples like Budweiser, Bud Light, and many other drafts and pours that America loves. After Anheuser-Busch found their success, the Lemp family found their untimely demise. And the fall of the Lemp family is extremely tragic. Like I said, I'm going to go into more detail about the haunted cave system where the beer was stored and other macabre and strange facts about the Lemps on Saturday, but for now, here's what happened. In 1901, Frederick Lemp, William Lemp's favorite son, died at a young age under mysterious circumstances. Three years later, a distraught William Lemp took his own life with a pistol on the second floor of the Lemp mansion. William Billy Lemp Jr. succeeded his father and then took control of the brewery business. But tragedy seemed to love the Lemps. In 1919, when Prohibition was enacted in the United States, the Lemp Brewery was forced to close its doors forever. And soon after, Billy Lemp's sister, Elsa, who was considered to be the wealthiest heiress in St. Louis at the time, took her own life in 1920. Some people consider her death to be a murder, but we'll talk more about that on Saturday. William Billy Lemp Jr. supposedly had a son born out of wedlock, which he kept locked up in the upstairs in the mansion, whom he named Ezekiel, or Zeke. Zeke was born with mental disabilities, and tragically, he was allegedly referred to by members of the family and visitors as Monkey Boy. Absolutely horrible. Apparently, Zeke was buried in an unmarked grave in the family's burial plot after he died in the mansion in his 30s, but throughout his whole life, he was kept in the shadows and labeled an embarrassment to the Lemp family. In 1922, the Lent Brewery Complex, which at one point was valued at over $7 million, was auctioned off for a measly $588,000. It was soon after the sale when William Billy Lemp Jr. took the same grim way out of life that his father did and ended his life with a pistol, once again, inside of the Lemp Mansion. William Billy Lemp Jr.'s brother, Charles, had an almost morbid attachment to the family home, and he continued to live there even after his brother and his father took their own lives in the house. And in effect, he became a grumpy recluse. He was an extremely bitter man, and Charles lived in the Lemp Mansion until the year 1949, when he once again took a pistol, shot his dog in the head, and then, just like his brother and father, took his own life in the Lemp Mansion with a self-inflicted gunshot wound to the head, just like his father. People have experienced all sorts of crazy activity in the mansion. They've seen apparitions, they've seen objects move by themselves and even float. They've heard voices, felt cold chills, heard pianos playing and watched doors lock and unlock by themselves. The mansion has been featured in all sorts of publications and on all sorts of TV shows and is constantly referred to as one of the most haunted places in all of America. And that's exactly why Jeff and I decided that we needed to pay the house a visit to stay the night. All right. Uh... My name's Heather. I've worked here um, about a year and a half now. Um, and I, I always work with one headphone in. In general, I'm here by myself most of the time. The majority of things that have like happened have been, I hear children's laughter, and also think I hear someone saying like, hello or Heather from time to time. That doesn't happen often. Um, and then most recently though, I've been having a battle with a stuffed pig that keeps showing up in uh, different locked rooms, and it's pretty creepy. Have people had to leave in the middle of the night? We've had that happen a few times, yeah. They leave in the middle of the night, so we usually don't hear from them again. <laughs> so we have a lot of people that will show up with a lot of ghost hunting equipment, and then they'll show me um, like all of the orbs that they captured, and um, people will come and bring Ouija boards. I have a, like six Ouija boards locked away in the laundry room that people have just brought and left here. Do you ever get freaked out working here? Not really. No. I love like being surrounded in this building. It's awesome. And what made you want to work here? I had a secret mission to find the caves. Really? <laughs> yeah, but the, the Limp Mansion and the, the history in St. Louis, I mean, it's, uh, I'm from this area. I always thought the Limp Brewery and Limp Mansion were really, really cool. So when they had an opening for a housekeeper, I was like, yes. <laughs> That's sick. Plus, I just get to work work by myself usually, and it's awesome. And the entrance to the caves is supposed to be in the basement. Um, so they 
I there used to be one apparently in the basement that's walled up and there was one over on Cherokee Street and so in the caves they used to throw all of these like big um, parties they had a an Olympic sized swimming pool um, like a ballroom sort of space and um, yeah so they would just throw these like alcohol and drug parties and that was actually how um, Ezekiel was born was he was born from um, a union between a prostitute and Billy Limp Jr. Wow and mm -hmm. he's the child in the He's the child in the attic, yes. Um, the one that they call Monkey Face Boy, which is really rude and you shouldn't say that. Have you felt like you've talked to him? Uh, connected? I've, I've definitely heard his laughter and uh, people will bring toys for Zeke all the time. Um, anything from like little matchbox cars to uh, like giant like bouncy balls. Um, and one of the things that guests will often do when they bring balls is they'll they'll roll the ball and they say that he's rolling it back but this is also an old house so the floors are probably a little mm -hmm. so I think that one's explainable definitely final question what's the most powerful thing that's happened to you like the most um, experience I so there were there were two times where like I um, felt very uncomfortable almost. So one, I was um, right outside the women's restroom on the main floor and it felt like someone whispered Heather right behind me. And it was, I knew that I was absolutely alone in the mansion, but it's, it felt like it was right behind me. And um, yeah, and it was in my ear without a headphone in. So uh, like got goose pimples and all of that fun stuff. And I just like, just stood there for a few minutes and had to talk myself down. And then the other time I was in the basement and I was vacuuming and uh, there was this like overwhelming odor. Um, it smelled like bad BO and a lot of like old musky men's cologne. And uh, I actually like left the mansion temporarily to get some fresh air because it was so overpowering I felt nauseous. Wow. Yeah. But other than that, it's been pretty hunky-dory. Cool. heard that. Okay, you guys, I was just getting some B-roll down here. You guys heard that? This has been a continuous shot. There's nobody down here. Hello? That was creepy. Back to the episode, I guess. After conducting our first interview, we decided that we needed to go pay the Lemps a visit in person, so we drove all the way across St. Louis to a cemetery where the Lemp family plot is located. St. Louis is a beautiful city, but it's plagued with blight. Part of the Lemp brewery actually collapsed just a couple months ago. It's tragic. But we got to the cemetery, there was a thunderstorm brewing above, and we decided that now it was time to visit the Lemps. So before our investigation at the Lemp Brewery tonight, we have come to visit the Lemps in their final resting place. This is where William Sr. and William Billy, they're all buried, the Lemp family members who ended their own lives in the mansion. So we've come here to the Bellefontaine Cemetery and we're gonna go ask them to come out.
Wu. There's Frederick. Oh, there's William. There's Bill. 1904. Elsa, too. The Elsa room. There's a lot of vaults in here. You know? It's very eerie. To any of the Lemp family members, we're coming out tonight and we want to talk to you. I know some of you ended your own lives very tragic. Some of you may have been killed. But we want you to come out tonight and talk to us when we're there at your old house. My name's Colin, here with my dad. Jeff. And uh, we come with the utmost respect, but if y'all could just follow us to the mansion, we would love to talk to you tonight. And it's sunny out, but there's a storm rolling in right now, so it's kind of creepy out here, but... Thank you guys. William, Frederick, Elsa, we're here tonight, so let's talk. So here's the Lemp Brewery yeah. to the right, or to our left, if you see. It's a very ominous, empty, almost shell of a building over there. It's gigantic. Yeah, they got a ghost tour business in there too. We're uh, we're about to pull up to the Lemp Mansion. It's nine o'clock at night. Um, we've been out, we visited the cemetery earlier today. We stopped by Starbucks for a while, I had to edit an episode. but. We just found out that we're gonna be the only people in the mansion tonight. Like, there was another group of guests that was supposed to be staying there That's in a crazy, room below man. us, but we have the entire mansion, every door unlocked, full access to the Lemp Mansion, one of the most haunted places in the United States, and we're sleeping there alone. See the lamp up there? I, I just pointed that out. Oh, you did? Oh. Were you not word? listening? Why well, didn't? I, yeah, I zoomed in on it. On the word lamp? Yes. Okay, well, I didn't hear that. <laughs> Chill your bones out, buddy. <laughs> so, yeah, we're about to arrive right now. And the fact that we're going to be there completely alone the full night is uh, just a little creepy. Yeah, I would think so. Because even just being in there earlier, doing the interview and just setting our stuff inside, well, we it's have definitely those, creepy. We have the damn little girls. Yeah, we heard our kids. kids. We're going to go in here. We're left. left. Oh, yeah, literally kids laughing like they're running around. Mm-hmm. Uh, no one was there. That was freaky. I was like, who are these kids in this house? Mm -hmm. You know? Okay, is this... Uh, here we go. We're coming up on it right now. Uh, yep. Okay. Oh, there she be. Jesus. That is one creepy ass house. <laughs> I uh, think maybe, maybe the creepiest. I know like for me, one of the scariest for sure was pulling up to the sanatorium on the top of that mountain in Greece. Yeah, but even this, like you just know, looking at- A different the, fear. Uh-huh. I mean, it's like a house, an old house full of suit, well, people taking their lives. It's a mansion. And, yeah. Death. It's gigantic. Where should we park? Should we down here? Yeah, I guess anywhere really. Let's go down here. Well, we're gonna go inside now, guys, and uh, let's begin our night at the Lemp Mansion. This is for y'all. For y'all. <laughs> for y'all. <laughs> for you guys. <laughs> Jesus, it's so dark out, you know, I can barely the, see you. The beauty about being retired and not having to see patients anymore and being professional is I can say stuff like, screw you, you mother 
<laughs> and not worry about it. Where did that come from? I have no idea. <laughs> it's like, I just thought about it. I'm like, Paramount Mutt Mansion, St. Louis. I don't have to act a certain way anymore. I can be just a dipshit. Yeah, you can Which be. I am. You can be the douche that you really are. Exactly. <laughs> I don't have to cover it up anymore. No. Douchebag. Yeah, cheers. Cheers, man. Cheers. And you are a spinning chip off the old block. Yep. Douche Jr. No, little douche. Little douche. Little baby. douche. Well, actually, L L I L. Apostrophe L I L. Little douche. Little douche. Yep. Okay, I'll take that. Okay. Let's Where are we go. going? We're going to we'll go back to the back entrance, man. I'm going to film as we go in. Here we go. <laughs> Can I clarify a few things? Yes. Okay, good bother me. So this deal on bats, right? You, yeah. This troll, that troll, what, I don't care about them anyway, but even people with questions that are actually about bats, that they think it's funny. So, get this. There's 60,000 cases of rabies treated a year, right, in the U.S., right? 70% of them are from bat bites, rabid bats, 70%. 60,000 people died worldwide last year, 70% were from bats. I don't want to be one of those 60,000 in the U.S. getting bit by a damn rabid bat and then go through the frickin' treatment that you go through, right? The shots and shit. Yeah. So, it's legit that I'm afraid of bats in a closed setting where they're gonna get my hair or shit and bite me. Yeah. Our outside at our house in Sioux Falls, there's bats every night eating mosquitoes. I love bats, right? I hear it. I hear you guys saying that stuff. I just don't like them in a close setting, like five feet. Well, who who, head, who right? likes a bat flying and they can get in your hair? They, well, they can. But not even get, I mean, if they actually would bite you, you can't capture the bat and go get them tested for rabies. You just have to go through the rabies vaccine, the, the shot therapy. No one likes to have so, bats around their head in the no. dark. So, I mean, that's the point. I like bats. I'm not a bat hater. So, you trolls, you know what? Say that. Just get a life. <laughs> yeah, leave the douche alone. Leave the, yeah, leave the douche alone. You guys want another rant? Not Let done. the man be afraid of bats. Yes. You go first. Okay. Kind of some mosquitoes out here. I hope there's bats around. <laughs> yeah, right. Where's the damn bats when you need them? That's that hears you. Hear that? What? It's not bats. What the f is that? I don't know, but it's definitely not bats. There's a lightning bug up there. Here we go. We got Jimmy John's too. Here we go. In case you're wondering. We're home! Oh, <laughs> oh god. Holy crap. Oops. We don't want anybody coming in, do we? No. Okay. Dinner first? Or should we eat? Look at... I mean... What do you think? <laughs> oh. Uh, we got this whole place. It's insane, really. Jesus. No one here. I Ooh, actually, that is know, creepy up there. You know, I kind of got unbelievable. I I just got like total energy chills again. This place has got some vibes. I'm telling you. Yeah, I kind of wish we didn't have to sleep here tonight. What are we gonna do? Should we go eat? Or, yeah, let's like, eat. Where? Could have been fireworks? Could have been fireworks. Didn't really sound like fireworks though. It was kind of weird. The way that it was like. Tum, 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 tum. Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, we've been sitting here eating our Jimmy John's and uh, it's very creepy in here. This is, uh, I think, going to be an interesting night. I'm kind of freaky that lady looking at me. <laughs> They follow you. Mm -hmm. One of that's that one. <laughs> hey everybody, it's Colin here. Tonight we have a very, very special episode for you guys. We're here in the Lemp Mansion. You guys probably know this place. This is literally listed on almost every list of the most haunted places in America. This mansion is always, always on that list. Um, 
As we already covered, three different members of the same family ended their lives in this mansion. Another member ended her life in a separate location in her private residence. So many different spirits here, 13 different ghosts, according to psychic mediums, if you believe in that. And uh, yeah, we, uh, we thought we were gonna be here with another, uh, I think it was a couple that was supposed to be spending the night somewhere in this mansion. But um, we're here alone. There's nobody in here. And let me tell you guys that this place is gigantic. Like you can't, it's huge and it's tall. And it's just really um, heavy feeling. We haven't started investigating yet. It's 10 o'clock, almost on the dot. We're gonna start right now. We've got all the lights out. By the way, if you guys enjoy what we do, uh, please follow me on Instagram at Colin Browen. You can follow my dad, Jeff, at Papa.Spooks. You can follow the show at The Paranormal Files. Go listen to my podcast, Murder in America. And also, if you enjoy what you're seeing, once again, consider becoming a patron on Patreon. Just type in The Paranormal Files on Patreon or consider pe or consider picking, Jesus, or consider picking up a piece of our merch. We're dropping new stuff soon and we're working our butts off to bring this stuff to you guys. And this honestly is very creepy because we're spending the night here tonight and we're the only ones in the house. There's not even any staff, it's just us. We're just gonna drop into the investigation right away. I'm gonna click record on this voice recorder. Okay guys, Colin here. I have to pop in here and just tell you guys, I usually am pretty skeptical about voice recorders and stuff like that. That's why I don't use them very often in our investigations. I feel like when you're moving the voice recorder around, they're usually so sensitive that even a footstep can sound like a whisper and a lot of people experience um, these noises and they immediately think that they're spirits and stuff like that. So we don't really use them that often because I don't, you know, necessarily believe a hundred percent in them, but I'm going to play this clip for you completely uncut. Jeff and I just walked through the Lemp mansion right here in this clip, hit record on the voice recorder and I bring them home, uh, to my house or my apartment to listen to the actual voices after the fact instead of doing it there in person because that just wastes investigation time. And I really wish we would have listened to them that night because the things that, the voices and noises that we captured on that recording are the craziest I feel like I've ever caught in the history of the channel, ever. I'm like sitting here, I have full body chills if you can see them, I have goosebumps across my body from listening to this. So I'm going to actually play the full clip of us walking through. Look at the clip. You can see Jeff and I keep our mouths shut. I'll even replay the clip when I hear these voices with the camera audio. So you can see that there's none of these voices appearing in the camera audio. It's just captured on this highly sensitive um, voice recorder right here. And yeah, oh my God, I just, I cannot believe this. You guys are gonna shit your pants, I think, when I show this to you. So here we go. There you go, test, test, so you can hear the audio. And for you guys, we're gonna silently just walk through this floor of the house. If there's anybody here in the lamp mansion, feel free to come out and talk to us tonight. two different members of the family ended their lives on this floor specifically. Over there and over here. Was Charles part of the family? Yeah. <clears throat> I didn't know that. Charles? We know you live down here. Are you with us tonight? Right here. Weird. 
coldness. Is that you, Charles? Are you coming through? Floating through the camera, and I was looking to see. It disappeared like a little wasp or something. Are you over here? I heard that somebody likes to hang out in this lady's restroom. Can you open this door for us so we can come in? This kind of interesting. Bar. Do you want a drink? Do you want us to pour you a drink? these guys in here. Mm -hmm. This bathroom is supposed to be haunted. We're not just, there's nobody in here, obviously. Mm -hmm. But apparently, people have seen the spirit of a man peeking over here when they're using the restroom. And this was the first freestanding shower in St. Louis. Is there somebody in here with us right now? Spirits here, uh, according to psychic meeting for the fall down. So, anybody that's here, if you could talk into this little box for us. You can shout out anything you want in the first box.
pop over by the stairs. And again, you can feel free to say anything you want. It will be picked up by this little box. Anything you want. Is there somebody upstairs? Anybody from the Lemp family? Anybody from the Lemp family, can you say something in this box? Your name would be great. A year. Maybe where are you at? In St. Louis. and I was listening to all of that. That is mental. That is insane, guys. I don't I don't think you understand how excited that makes me. That that is that's the actual clip that we recorded. That's insane. Anyways, I know that's supposed to be creepy and stuff, but that's really exciting for me as a researcher because like I have no explanation for any of that. The whistle? What the fuck? It's a whistle. Like it's very obvious that neither of us whistled. So yeah, anyways, guys, let's go back to the investigation. I'm gonna post that full clip of that audio recording on uh, on Patreon. So if you guys who are on Patreon hear anything else, please point it out to me because I wanna make a video soon about stuff that I missed in videos. But wow, is that just insane. Okay, now that we did the first walkthrough, we're gonna really start using some tools and devices. I'm gonna show the batteries. I'm gonna turn this on sure. just a little bit, okay. So, I so we did listen to a, a lot of your comments. One particular comment uh, that I, I appreciated was someone who said there was a fire that was started uh, that I think and tragically killed a few children and they traced it to batteries being together and starting the fire. So wow, that really sunk home. So I ended up getting this case, this battery case, right? And um, so we kind of listened to what you guys say uh, when you got constructive criticism. Um, actually, I just turned this over and uh, <laughs> they fell out. Well, they, they just I just shook it around. Looks like bullets. Oops, a lot of batteries. Yeah, so there's the nine volts in here. Don't we need nine volt? Yeah, so so basically, you know, we'll take a nine volt battery out, like so, it has a, a charger. So you just you take the plus N and you, you push it on. See, and so we, we make sure the battery's all the way up at, at good. See that? Mm -hmm. Okay. So it goes back in. Then we know we've got a, a good battery for the REM pod. Okay. Okay, that just hit. The REM pod just the REM hit. The REM pod just hit. Okay. So this is the room, right? Yeah. This was the room where Junior, right? Lump Junior shot himself. I just want to warn you guys, this scene and this experiment contains some potentially triggering imagery and situations. So if you are easily triggered or offended by depictions of self-harm and stuff like that, skip this part of the video, please, because this is an intense experiment we're about to do. Um, and also, if you guys are ever in need, if you ever have a mental health crisis, please consider calling the prevention hotline. We put the number, let's put the number on the screen again right now. 
And Jeff and I are always here coordinating everybody online. If you really are struggling and you're going through something, always feel free to reach out to us. But we're going to move on with the experiment. Since we like to push the limits of paranormal investigating here, we're going to actually try a, what would you call it, a trigger event? Yeah. We have a trigger object, but since three members of the Lem family ended their lives here, we're not trying to trivialize suicide. I'm just wondering if emulating that action will bring out a spiritual reaction. So we bought a cap gun today at the dollar store. This thing, you know, has caps in it. And we're gonna actually perform the actions that each of the Lemp family members did to take their own life in these rooms to see if that will potentially get them to come out or stir up some sort of residual energy. Um, but we've got over here the REM pod. Interestingly enough, it just went off right before we started rolling and now it hasn't hit again. We've got the ovulus, which we're gonna run while we do this, and then we're gonna kill the lights and go IR, and then do a spirit box, so let's do it. Oh, what? Yeah. Right when I turn the light off. Yeah. Ask him something. Billy, is that you? That was weird. It's still going on. Are you here? Did you show up already? Okay, okay so okay. once again, triggering imagery coming up. I'm gonna start the ovulus. Billy? If William Lemp Jr. is here, I believe you took your own life in this room. Did it go something like this? Baby. What was that? Stare. Oh, look at right when I did it. What's Baby it? ever stare. Stare's right there. Oh, what the f oh, is Whoa. Okay. Oh. I keep seeing something out of the corner okay. of my eye up here, dude. Okay. It's kind of oh. freaking me out. Yeah, I've got a uh, full body chills again. Also, look at how that strong signal right after the banged myself. What did that say again right after you did that? Baby ever stare. Stares are right there. Okay, and I was also earlier talking about that picture behind you. That's like staring at me. Well, that's like stares like oh, going Oh, okay, off. gotcha. Billy, is that what you did to yourself in this room? Can you talk to us? It right here, this is perfect. Oh, okay. Were you filming? Yes. Were you filming that? It's filming right Holy now. Holy shit. Okay, hold, stay still. That was right. Stay still. Man. You want him to sit right there? Okay, I'm gonna come. <gasps> okay. Here you find me. If there are any members of the Lemp family in this house, can you come sit at this table with us? Conditions of Bishop. If you are here, could you give us a sign? Any spirits at all, can you come in here and talk in this device, make this device go off? Can you make more of the lights go off for us? Hey guys, I'm interrupting the video again because I'm editing this. I just noticed this. I can't believe we didn't connect these dots at the time. But Billy Lemp Jr. actually took his own life by putting a pistol to his heart. He shot himself in his heart. The guy who 
took his own life right there in that room that we were sitting in. And Jeff at the time started saying, he even says right there in that clip, I'm starting to feel something right here, almost like my heart. I know this sounds strange, but I've got like, a, uh, like right here, it's almost like where my heart is, but it's just a little more. And just a couple minutes before that was when I took that cap gun and did that little experiment. Bang. So that's just some strange, I don't know if that's evidence or what, but I'm pointing that out to you guys because, yeah, that's just weird that he mentioned his heart and that's the whole, the the event that happened in that room. Is that a good feeling? Yeah, I'm kind of like sick to my stomach. Kind of, kind of a bad taste in my mouth. Did you shoot yourself here? That's interesting that it said carpet though. Because mm -hmm. if he shot himself in here and this is carpeted, he would have died on the carpet. Jewelry. Him. 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 Are we talking to him? Any spirit at all. There's supposed to be 13 in here. I don't even think that includes them. Mm -hmm. I suppose. Any spirit at all. Can you come in and again talk in this box or make this light go off here? Show us you're here. Billy Lamp. You can come in. We're not here to hurt you or harm you. We're, we're friendly. Come and sit down with us. Glass. Messenger. <laughs> Who's the messenger? Say. Weird. Messenger say. Glass. Do you have a message for us? Move backwards. I keep seeing something. Plan. Nighttime. Chart. Plan. Nighttime. Chart. Wife. Oh, I got like a I'm kind of creepy. No maze. No maze. Wife. Wife? No. Why do you make this light go off just like that? Why don't you play with it a little bit more? Show us that you're really here. Anybody. So we paused for one second, got Dan on the spirit box. Dan. Okay, you've done that already. Do a little bit more. That's kind of weird. The house is like oh, messed up here. Oh. Always prop. Always prop what? I have a weird frequency in my ears right yeah, now. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like a straight it's up a like weird, ringing almost. A weird sound. Mm -hmm. Like, you know? This house is like, just weird. A totally different sound of that. Well, I would have you. Oh, jeez. You don't want me to have him do that? Ah, it kind of like hurts my ears. 50. <laughs> okay, so is 50, does that mean that somebody died at 50? 50 pace? God, that, that is a... 50 pace follow, like, you know what I mean? Like, 50 paces, you know? Yeah, like... Pacing around in here, maybe before he took his own life. Group. Following his like a group father's footsteps. Like the, the thirteen spirits. Mm -hmm. Mind. Stairs, maybe. Yes, yeah, maybe the stairs or went to heaven. And I mean, we're not trying Mind. to. Mike. Okay, Mike. I gotta write that down. Joe. And it, <laughs> Joe. Oh my gosh, we got some names here. Yeah. Why don't we have you do a spirit box? That are here, can you tell us your name? Safety. Please. Can, can you give us one of your names? 
Can you give us one of your names? Walter? Walter? What's your name right now? Once again, can you tell us your name? Who's in here with us? No one. Well, you said no one. And Willie Brown. Billy, Billy almost. Billy's the one that's supposed to be in this room. Really? Billy, if this is you, can you say your name to us? Now, some people said Billy. You know, really some weird. people have wanted us to not put our hand on the speaker. Right? A lot of people have said that. Is that okay? It's way harder to hear you question for the audience. Most people. Okay, when, how did you guys, somebody, how did you die? With oh. oh. Okay, who's who's setting this light off? What's your name? Say your name in here. Okay, is there anybody here with us? Can you tell us where you are in the house? Catch on, I'm already here. Hey, it's way creepier out here, man. Who are you? Can you tell me your name? Can you tell me your name? Where are you in here? How did you die? Well, there's one of them in that bar. Wait, move? What's, what is causing this shadow right here? Look at that. Why do you see that? Where? There's just a shadow, right? Oh my god, that looked like somebody walked in front of that door. That one? No, the front door. Like, in the house. Really? Yeah, that really is freaking out right now. Charles, is that you? Oh, 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 you hear that? Yeah. Oh, I got like total vibes again here. Like chills, like all my hairs are standing up on him. Charles, is that you? Charles Limp? This was what they thought was his room right here where he ended his life. Charles. Can you tell me your name if someone is here? <laughs> What's your name? know where you are in the house. Yeah. What was that? If that was you, can you do that again? Johnny? There's an orb in the... We'll ca you'll see that on camera. Straight. There's something in here. Straight. Can you knock like this? 
to let us know where you are in this house. We don't want to hurt you. We just want to talk. Are you going down to the basement? Sure. Okay. We got to bring some tools here. Should I turn this off? Yeah. turn it on and it stops. It's like they don't want us to leave. You know? Are you okay? Is there some reason why we shouldn't go to the basement? I think it's time to go. Yeah. What should we grab? Oh, did you hear that? Almost like a footstep upstairs. Are you upstairs? I usually get how creepy would it be if we just asked that question sometime and you just heard a voice go, Yes, I am. I'd be fine. Right. It'd be too much for me. You okay? No, I just, I'm getting it again. My, my, that's so funny. I'm saying this is it again. I'm definitely getting like a headache. feel something here. Well, he shot himself in the heart. Oh. In this room. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to explain, I guess, what I'm feeling. Hmm. We shoot the floor downstairs. We're gonna go downstairs to the basement. We've done this area up here for an hour and a half. Nothing too crazy yet, just spooky, I but definitely got a headache. I think also the basement has some really eerie vibes and the upstairs where we're gonna end has probably the creepiest. We go down here. Yeah. Come on, the lights. Huh. Yeah, I turned that on just now. You did, huh? Yeah. So all the way down from one on? Let's do it. So leave this on? Yeah, this it's only for this room. Okay, so we're in the basement right now. Jeff's got the SLS camera and the FLIR camera. We're gonna look for some heat signals and for well, any for cold. figures. Yeah, really cold yeah, spots. Cold or hot. But down here is where they suggested that we bring dog toys for Serva, the dog who Charles killed before he took his own life. So we bought some balls and a squeaky toy. Serva! <laughs> you down here with us, Serva? <laughs> Do you want to come play fetch? We brought you some toys, Serva. You here with us? Come out and play. Honestly. Oh, look at, look at that. Oh, it's from the ceiling. Where is this? Okay. I'm trying oh, to pick up like anything. It's getting down. What the heck? Oh, I'm feeling some stuff what here. What the hell? What is that? Okay. There's nothing that should be mapping Dude, out on. Dude, look at that. If it's that's free, free space. Can you, if we're looking at you right now, can you put your arm down? Dude, it's like a monkey. Look at that. Is that you that we're looking at right there? Or is, it, is it too? It's right here. Yeah, right here? Yeah. It's right in front of us. Uh-huh. Oh, look at this. This is like kind of, I don't know. Let me see this. Can you move something in here to let us know that that's you? Can you show up on this heat signature right here? This, make this show something. Am I, am I right on him? <laughs> Maybe roll one of the balls. Oh, look at the, look at the change of the color. <laughs> Do you see that? 
Yeah. It's changing. And this thing is still right Dude, there. I have to Oh, there's another one. What? What? Okay. Oh my god, dude, I'm totally chilled here. It's like here. really look at heat this. too in here. Dude, Bill, look, there's three. Oh, what the hell? Oh my god. Oh. What? Wow. Dude, I'm feeling like hot and sweaty. Oh, I am hot. There's three. How many of spirits? Are you all going to come and show up? Count, are you getting mm -hmm. all? Three SLS figures? Okay, now that's... Well, I have chills, oh, too. Dude, look at mine. Look Do at you my hair. feel the, oh, the heat energy down hot. here? It's but it's like a different type of hot that just came in here. Okay, wow, wow. Oh, oh I have chills. Okay, all oh, my hair is on end. Oh, whoa, You're gone. What? what? The hell? What the hell? That was amazing, actually. Oh, dude. How did they just? You didn't even do anything. They just. Oh, here's back. Oh. Behind us. Dude, what should we do? Should we go off of here and come behind or what? Yeah, I guess let's step into that what room. You, I think um, the basement. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think we can like one of those tin pans. Why are basements always the creepiest? Is there another noise here? Mm -hmm. Where should I put this? Over here. Okay, I'm coming in. You guys are all seem to be hanging literally right here. <coughs> Will you hold this for a second? Yeah. Let's, let's go over here. Yeah, there's some down here that's just making me kind of... Okay, well, I think maybe take it easy for just a little bit. It's weird, maybe. though. It's like... So, I thought that that was my blood sugar making me feel weird, but then I, like, sat down. And I felt fine, and then all of a sudden I stood up, and it's like, it's like there's like a heat. Yeah. Like right I, it's, here. It's really hot right here, actually. Are you down here with us? Okay, let's go sit over oh, here. I got the floor. This. Can you use your voice and say hello? Or play with one of the toys we brought you? Where's that there? I mean, now, for me, like when you talk about mapping out, how do they just all of a sudden map out? I don't know. Right? I mean, that's for me, know, it's like. It. I mean, if they're there, they'll yeah. come back, too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If it's tracking something, this is... <sighs> There's somebody over here? Oh, my God. Something down here just makes me so dizzy. I feel very uncomfortable right here. Stay, stay there, Tom. I heard a door creak. Me too. Did you hear that? Oh. Stay, stay I there. I gotta sit down in this area. Okay, sit down there. This is like too strong over here. Oh. Something's not right in this over here, man. Hello. Are you down here with us? I'm trying to see if there's any temperature change. Is that you? Can you roll this ball back to me? Yeah, honestly, how did those three figures map out? That was crazy, actually. Three at the same time, and then now we don't even have one. It is so strange, too. This is like a vortex down here. Like, when I stand up, I mm -hmm. literally can't, I cannot stand up down here. 
when I'm sitting, I'm fine. film at a place they always have some sort mm -hmm. of a yeah AC is that you okay you gotta do something more can you roll one of these balls pick up some energy change there I wonder if sometimes you know if you hold like if I hold this you know I believe like you know right like maybe your energy is different than mine mm -hmm. I'd like to try the SLS again sure okay I just sometimes feel like I feel like it's almost I'm almost. gonna run a spirit box right now okay if you're down here with us we want to hear your voice so just feel free to just talk to us Who's who's here? Can you tell us your name? Country boy. Get out of your country. Yeah, yeah, something. yeah. What? What did you just say to me? There's the I'm five. Did you hear that? I just heard like a thump behind you. You didn't hear that? I didn't know. Can you reappear again since I'm holding this device in my hand here? Oh, kind of reappear. I do not feel good down here. How can you just like be At here? All. Huh? I said I do not feel good down here. This is like physically I feel like sick down here. A woman. There's other voice in a woman's voice. Can you tell us your name? Ooh, what was that? That was creepy. Yeah. It's like a wow. Do you not like it when people come down here? Mary. Mary. Are you waiting for your husband? Is there a dog with you down here? We're breaking our own rules. Break our own rules? Okay, I don't see how we got three figures. And then it's like, they're almost, are they moved on? I, I, I don't. Where are you guys? Swear to God, it sounded like a dog. I kind of heard that. Did you? Mm -hmm. Roo! 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 Oh. Do we have to sit somewhere else? We might have just we need a different vibe. Or in the other room. Is it time to party? We're here to party. Oh, jeez, oh, so much. Gosh, Jesus, Colin. Man. 
Oh, oh, so loud. Like, you were the one oh, who made the But you're so loud. Well, yeah, if I go. Make a it's just my tennis shoe, fella. Are you back here? Should really have the floor on there so you can see if there's a color or a temperature change. Like dark spots. Oh, look at this in the camera. Oh. You see this? Look at my reflection oh, yeah. right there. Right. Just a second, I can't quite see it. Stay there. It's creepy. See that? A big color shift yeah. on the temperature. It is. Oh, God. Okay. Did you die here? Oh, you got a figure right behind you. Don't, don't move. It's right behind on your head. A hand is on top of your head. Who are you? I freaking get out. I heard that. Are you be were you behind Colin? Maybe they fear all of a sudden. Okay. Hold on. Who are you? Can you reappear with Colin again? Stay there, Colin. behind me. Stay there. Are you trying to manifest yourself through? Oh, Colin, it's right behind you. Don't move. Colin, you quit mapping. Now this thing's mapped. Oh, dude, you're, it's on your head again. Like, Who are you? one hand is on your head. Why are you doing that? Are you right behind me? Oh, disappeared. What the hell? And the light's going off on the meter. Oh, this is creepy right here. Oh, see, there's there's definitely activity down here. Oh, dude, look at this. Show this in the mirror. Look at this. When you stare at yourself right here. Yeah. Zoom in on me. Yeah. Look how behind you, you can see like a bunch of yourself. Oh, yeah. It's almost like one of them you're expecting to like look the other way. I see you're saying, like yeah, like the head turns moving. and you don't move. Yeah, and you're like, the f Yeah, or it doesn't move. Because they say spirits live in mirrors. Right. Are you here in this mirror? Damn, it is hotter than hell right now down here for me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you appear through this mirror? I just kind of get the feeling that they want to... Like interact with you, you know. Here, buddy. <laughs> Can you make those lights go more? Come on. Go a little more, or not at all. Oh, dude, there's a figure. Where? Um, it's over here. Can you walk over on this pan? It's right on top of the pan. I'm gonna go up to the second floor. Sure. It's kinda hot here. Okay. This place is active though. Three. Oh, there's a figure again. Over here? On the pan. Well, this pan? Yes. Reach your, just, oh, there's two. Where? On the pan, dude, on the pan. Right on the pan, there's both of them. Directly in front of me? Colin, do you see that pan right there? Yes, on the pan. This? Okay, there's two of you. Okay, you just disappeared. Did oh, the other just, one. Did you just knock behind me? The pan is the pan, bud, right? There's no other thing that, it's right there. So you walk over and you put your hand on the pan. It's not that difficult. Can you guys come back? And Colin didn't understand what to do. Can you come back on the pan? 
it's the same figures that are here. I think they're they're hanging on, hanging down here. Well, when that was happening, I heard knocks over here. So okay, over this way. We went to. Are you guys back here? You're gonna have to film a little bit. Can you throw one of those glasses, like the stories say you like to do? Can someone give me a glass of water? Can anybody show up and, and make yourself change the temperature and like materialize yourself? You understand all this stuff, that's easy language. Make yourself like show cold. Come and sit in the chair. Coldness surrounding the chair. Yeah. It's interesting. It's like colder. Isn't it kind of? Chairs are warm. No, but look at the other one. Yeah. Around yeah definitely. That yeah, is, really. Yeah, all through here. Because it's not a shadow. Actually, it's all around it. Oh. I'm smelling it. Yeah. What is that? Like papery. Are you catching that? Mm hmm. Oh, I'm really hot. Yeah. Ooh. Let's go up to the second floor. I'm smelling. I'm, I'm smelling like like sausage. It's really weird. Okay, so my blood sugar is a little low right now. Randomly just dropped. So we're gonna go sit upstairs for a few minutes, take a break, and then head to the second story, and then end on the third story, which is supposedly where the most haunted room is and where we're sleeping tonight. Ready to get out of the basement? Yeah, let's go. It's kinda super hot yeah. down here. Yeah. Okay, well, it's just sitting for my blood sugar again. I'm sorry. In the case, is that little figure? <sighs> It's not weird. Super creepy. I'm hearing this kind of noise too. Well, I got some artifacts in that case. And now it's starting to calibrate on the case. Watch it. It's like writhing around it's like in there. It's like picking something. It's like it's trying to. Yeah, it's like it's trying to come out of the case. That's gone. Can you knock? Okay guys, once again, adding something in here. This is weird that we captured this whistle right here because this was the same area where on the voice recorder, a whistle was picked up. But this time, this is way later in the night. And there's an actual whistle on the camera audio that Jeff and I heard in person, so they correlate. Like a, did you hear that? Here, my cop. I'm just gonna go here for a second. Could you make a noise to let us know where you are? It sounds like somebody's upstairs. It's like, I don't know if I wanna go up there. Okay, everybody, so we've been sitting here. My blood sugar is fine again. We're gonna now go up to the second story to the room where another one of the lemps ended their life with a gunshot wound to the temple this time. We're gonna try the experiment once again, so I'm warning you guys some triggering scenes coming up in the next five minutes. And, uh, we're gonna keep investigating, then head to the top of the building where we're sleeping tonight and where the supposedly most active room in the house is. So, you ready? Let's go. Lead the way. Okay. I'll flip the camera around. We're gonna go down here. Let's just walk up these stairs right here. Oh, one more. Okay. 
We're coming up. Come out. Show yourself. I have ghost cam in use. Someone's watching us. Ugh, this is creepy up here. Okay, trigger warning. We're gonna try the same experiment with the cap gun. So there's REM pod right there. Okay, so isn't it in this room the next, or in the lavender room? And it was the, oh, 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 oh. it's the first time it's really hit. William Lemp Sr., is this the room where you chose to end your life? reminds you of anything can you come out and give us a sign it's not loud in your ear camera yep okay we're gonna try the Estes method now um, so with the Estes method you blind yourself and sound deprivate yourself so that all you can hear is the spirit box I can't even see where the camera is I'm assuming over there um, so I'm doing that already I'm blind will you plug this into the spirit box for me yeah cuz I can't see Actually, okay. Let's see. I think I can. Okay. So you start asking the questions. Rum pod. Okay. Did you die in here? A temporary stop. Okay. So you mean as far as one of your this is one of your past bodies or lives? It was a temporary stop. Is that right? Join us. <laughs> Join you where? Join you where? Grandparents. Who's grandparents? Third floor. Third floor. Wow, really? <laughs> What's your name? Forgot it. Really? You don't know your name? How old are you? Shouldn't have. It's okay, but how old are you? How many spirits are in this room right now? We are large or something. So you, there's a large group of you? How about one of your names? Yes. Okay. <laughs> a loud yes. Okay, so. It all seems to be a man, I keep hearing. So can you give me a name? Paid too much. Paid too I'm much? I'm still armed. <laughs> okay. So you, if you're still armed, are you William who shot himself? Oh, that might be a yes. Glad to go. Where are you? Where I'm are coming. You? Okay, where? I see. Or I see you. Oh. Uh -oh. oh, that was creepy. That was very oh, creepy. God. It was like, I see you. I feel cold over here. October the 6th. Was it a birthday? Anniversary? Someone died? A funeral? That was just it. Where are you right now? Up. You're up? Ceiling! <laughs> like yelled, ceiling! He's up, and you're in the C. 
ceiling. Years of abuse and a gun. It's a cold spot. Wow. It's hard, doctor. I know. I'm a doctor. Oh, wow, look at Mrs. Collin. You said you're, where are you? And you said you're up in the ceiling. Right above you is this cold spot in the ceiling. Shut up! Is that you? That's you right above Colin? Wow, it's right above Colin. Swell. Look at that. Oh, I feel cold. Gosh, that is creepy, man. I feel very cold around There's me almost. There's a cold spot. You are, it is. There! Oh, look at this, 22.7. You go to Colin. He doesn't know. 29. Everything around you is colder. I feel like a f***ing god. <laughs> oh, you are, things are, everything around you is cold. And even around your body. Nine zero. Jesus. Who, I was going to say, who are you with? Okay. Still, this cold spot remains there. Just couldn't do it. Oh, right I just heard somebody go like. You're looking like cold. This clothes and wrinkles and stuff have gotten cold. What's your name? Who are you? That's here. Darkness. <laughs> okay, when you say darkness, does that mean evil? Yes or no? Where are you again? Tell me where you're at. Not going to say. <laughs> wow. How come? Just tell me where you're at. They won't let me leave. <laughs> that was creepy. It was like, they won't let me leave. Okay, are you talking about, are you up in the ceiling right here above Colin, like you said? Mm-hmm. <sighs> it is then, okay. Oh, wow, look at it. You're even more cold. Can't leave. Family. Cut out that. Jesus. Wow, Colin's clothes are getting cold. We got the rim pod. I'm feeling like hot now. The rim pod is going crazy. Stay, please. <laughs> okay, who wants me to stay? Deep in the something. I have a headache now, too. Okay, are you still like right here? Are you still here? You're still right here. in my still there. forehead. Oh shit! That's where he shot himself too. It was in his head, his temple. That's where I'm, I have a pain right here in my head now. So who's here with us? Would you say? Tell us who you are. Oh now. Old. Good to have you. Oh, there's cold all around us. There it well, is. I am smelling something. What am I smelling? Oh, I feel the floor like kind of shaking. I hope you're walking around. Oh, look at the cold around the right pot. Is that Deeply disturbing. Okay, are you messing with Colin? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay. But I was saying that because I heard like a laugh and then yes, like <laughs> yes. Still, are you still up in the ceiling? Oh, my head hurts right here. That's trippy. It's almost like I'm connecting like, oh, right on my temple, literally. Glad I'm gone. Glad I'm gone. Coming back here. dark that's gotten over here. Right here. Stop oh, moping. We're home. We're home. Are you right on top of this? Make that go. Make that light go more and more. 
Use your energy. Oh, my headache is like, growing. I feel cold like here. I don't know if you're picking that up. It's like the air is cold. Yeah, this is cold right here. The darker is all the colder. But this is just really reacting with Colin. Not leaving. Colin, do you feel okay? How do you feel? Glad. Okay, I think we have a Do not try connection to this cold spot right above the column. It's just like a My partner. Right down on top of it. Is that is that you that's <sighs> manipulating my son up in the ceiling? And then you're you're manipulating the this device right here? Places? Is your energy around this REM pod right here in front of me? Colin, who's, in, who's on the REM pod? So it's dark. Dark, yes. Is it a dark energy? Charles, I heard Charles. Charles, that's you? Are you stuck up here? Like you said, you're in the ceiling, up in the ceiling. Is that you? Hmm. Said morning. Um, I feel kind of, very strange here. Yeah, I'm kind of like feeling like it's gonna be time, Colin. Do you think we should quit? To his, to his. Charles, is that you? Charles, I know that you're past. We're here. Your soul, but you can oh, ask your back. Is that what you were doing? Colin, do you want to quit? I'm done. Oh. Okay. Dude, so. Oh my god, you, that was a fucking headache up here. You said up in the ceiling. Mm -hmm. And right above you, there's a one cold spot. Really? You're stuck in the ceiling. Really? Set. And then the rep has been going crazy. Like crazy. And look at this. Oh, oh okay. Oh. Yeah. And, dude, right above you is the, is the cold spot on the ceiling where the, the Charles says he's trapped. What? Yeah, above you, right above you. Like, it's directly above your head. What? Right above your head. Huh. It's right above you. And you'd said, it's up in the ceiling. That's crazy. And I said, are you stuck there? And you said, yep. That's crazy. That was a good session. Good for us. I'm going to actually stop this now. Okay, why don't you just sit there and ask for them to make a noise real quick before we go back. You're going to love this. No, stand up there and ask a couple questions. Oh. And then you can talk. See, I wanted you to. Ask you to, like, slam a door or something. You've got to be here. Can you, like, slam a door? Jiggle a handle? Do something like really loud. Please. Make it go crazy. Use your energy. Okay, make a loud bang. Something. Let's step out in the hall and ask these questions in the dark. Wow. It's gonna be creepy. Okay. We're kind of getting to the end that we're going to be f trying to communicate with you down on the second floor. Can you give us some kind of a sign that you're here? Anything. Make a noise of any sort. Your voice. Hit the wall. Jiggle on a door handle. Can you move anything in here? I think they're I think they're back in here. 
I know. I don't think I think I want to step actually, into this room once. It's like, hey, I'm the owner. I'm the actual boss. God, this is so f***ing dark. Hey, Colin. You know, Jesus. like, you need to come back in here. Let me turn this off for a sec. Okay, Charles, you know, it's what I believe in. Do you like beer? Sounds like a static. What is that? Oh, I like this weird box. Oh, I was gonna say, gosh. How crazy. <laughs> I think we should just try it. This real quick? Yeah. William uh, Billy Lemp Sr. I know that you took your own life in here. We would love to talk to you. If you've been communicating with us all night, or Charles. A little orb. Hmm? A little orb just flew up the camera. Yeah, I saw a couple of those. Why don't you ask a question? I, I, I kind of feel like we've dealt with Charles, like, or William, I mean, I'm sorry, Charles. Uh, could be Charles, could too. could be Charles, actually, since I came out of my mouth. Are we? What happened to the round pot? Oh, you I turned, turned it off. off. Okay. So, either Charles or William, can you show yourself on this device in front of us on the bed? Like, come on the bed or sit in that chair over there? Um, oh, I just got, like, like these dark black. On the floor? Yeah. Are you in this room with us still? Can you give us just a sign that you're here in this room with us? Can you, sh can you show yourself? Move across the screen. It's all you gotta do is walk. Float, crawl, anything. Float. <laughs> I don't discriminate against floating or crawling. The way you said that was just funny. Float. <laughs> well, here we go once again on an investigation where we've been up for hours, and it's like, you hang in there. Mm-hmm. Shit happens. Yeah, we're exhausted right now. <laughs> it's like 2.30 a.m. Please just appear in front of this camera and show us your shadow. Turn the wall dark black. Give me a sign. We're not going to hurt you. I just want to... Make sure you're here. You ready to move up to the third floor? I guess I was hoping that I'd see a shadow here. <laughs> a shadow move. I kind of feel like it's a little, a little lighter, you know? It feels Our, like it left almost. Yeah, yeah, I feel like a little empty. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're heading upstairs now to the third story of the home, to the most haunted room. We haven't really been up there yet, but it's getting pretty late and we're pretty tired. It's hot in here too. Let's make the final trek. Also, that haunted pig is up there. I know, ready? Yeah. Thank you, William. Thank you, yes. This painting is just creepy, isn't it? Her eyes do follow you. It's crazy that we have this whole place to ourselves. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> it's huge in here. I mean, it's just like, it's like a different worker like, here or something. No. I swear I just heard something. Me too. You hear like a, oh. 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 What? 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 What the f***? What? Oh, what? Oh. 
What? There's a shadow behind me, dude. What? I would have swore I had somebody behind me right here. Holy shit. So the SLS, the use, use the SLS. Look at this. Did you just did you just come up right behind oh, us? Oh my god. Oh. You, you should feel my heart race. <sighs> Me too. Oh my god. I heard like a Ooh, that's even down. chills, yeah. I gotta sit down for a second. Where are you going here? This room. I'm confused here. This is the Elsa. Oh my god, dude. That was, that was freaky. See right here. It has been concluded to be the most haunted of the rooms. Gosh, okay. dang, that's scary. That, that's like one of my... Wow, it's hard on the heart, man. Oh, my God. Jeez. <laughs> that was really creepy. <laughs> I'm telling you. It's interesting that this is the most haunted room. Wow. Oh. You know, I might have an issue bar. Have one. Yeah. Oh, look at. Oh my god. This is what she was Hell? talking about. It's a little crawl space filled with notes. Oh my gosh. That's right. Strange. You see, what's creepy is that, like tonight, when we're done with all this, we have to just turn the camera off and sleep. Yeah. You know? Should I turn that light off? Also, sorry guys that we're sitting so much. We're just exhausted. Wow. I'm so tired. We've been at this for hours now. Do you know how you get like a really stressful situation? Like, like I felt right there where I was like, uh, sorry, I'm chewing. I literally thought there was like a person right behind me. Yeah. Like I was in danger. And my heart rate, you know, when you have adrenaline rush, it just started with mm -hmm. just, like it was like, like, I bet it was probably like close to 200 beats a minute. Mm -hmm. Like that. And then I'm like tired. Mm -hmm. Like it just like, oh no. That's what I feel like. That happened when... I was on the plane yesterday, and there's a giant turbulence, and yeah. I was sleeping, and I was like, <laughs> yeah. and I woke up, and then I was like, oh. Yeah, no, that's... <laughs> Can you come into this room? Can you open that door? Zeke, Ezekiel. That's you? Can you come in here? Can you open the door, jiggle the handle? I'm honestly kind of glad that they didn't jiggle the handle or open the door because that would make it very hard to sleep in here. Oh, yeah, I don't. So this is Elsa's room? Mm-hmm. Well, and it, or they call it Elsa's called. room. This used to be servants' quarters. Oh, sir, that's right. The young kid who died, Zeke, Ezekiel, he lived up here. Oh, yeah. Is there anybody up here on the third floor with us? You want to try that bear at all or no? Mm-hmm. That was all. Oh, that was weird too when I was doing the Estes method because I got a yeah. pain right here. Yeah. Wonder what side of the head he shot oh. himself on. We're gonna try out our pal mm -hmm. Boo Buddy. What's your name? Zeke, are you here with us? Oh, I get something to grab me. It's. I can't, I can't tell if this is... Look at, look at, someone's grabbing it. Do you see that? It was just a word on the arm. Uh-oh. Is there anybody up here with us? Can you go play with that teddy bear? We brought him for you. You should turn the SLS camera off. Turn it off. Yeah, because it's giving us some weird lighting. Can you tell me what 2 plus 2 is? Anybody who's up here, feel free to come in and play with this toy that we have. It's a teddy bear right there on the bed. Oh, oh. What the f was that? What the? What was that? That was in the hallway.
Come play with the teddy bear. That pig? Oh, uh, yeah. Dude, hey, what is this? What's that pig is like staring a hole through my soul. Oh, that was a really loud noise, whatever that yeah. was. Why are you already low, you think? Is there anybody downstairs? It's a long drop. It down. is. Look at it. You got it down there. Oh my God, it's freaking creepy. Is there anybody down there? It looked like this light was swaying. I don't know if it is or not. There's just <laughs> Walk down here is this creepy back here. Yeah. Like a face came in the window. Yeah, yeah I'm good. Huh. Here's where we're sleeping tonight. This creepy ass pig. I wonder what the deal is with this pig. Yeah. Here are our rooms. Stay here. Yeah, this is very, very creepy. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? We can wrap it here one second. I'll just we'll yeah. get... get that pig out of here. I know. Bring that pig into Elsa's room. What? You should bring that pig into Elsa's room. I don't want that thing near our room. Where's that's way down there, dude. Yeah, like 10 feet. So, because of what happened tonight and the vibes that we get from this mansion and the fact that we're literally the only two people in here and it's a gigantic house. <laughs> uh, Jeff and I are gonna sleep in these two rooms that we rented. I'm gonna keep my light on, and we're both gonna lock the doors to keep this open, and I'm gonna keep my bathroom light on. Because, uh, yeah, like I said, usually in like a haunted hotel or a place, there's like an employee or somebody there, but we're literally the only people here. And it's late, we've been doing this for hours, and it got really creepy at the end. Okay, am I just gonna close? Yeah. Do we have a... Got my stuff in there. God damn, dude. What if something's actually starting to rattle our door? Like, oh, I would shit my pants. Oh my God. Are you waking up in the middle of the night? All three of the lamps are standing around your bed. Or you wake up and that pig is right next to you in bed. Oh my God. That would, that would scare the crap out of me. 
I think I'm just gonna leave the lights on. Yeah, I'm definitely leaving these. I'm, I'm just gonna close my eyes. I think I'm just gonna deal with it. It got like really creepy in here at the end. Why don't I have like a like a lamp? You know, I wonder. I could probably sleep like that with your you gonna leave your light on. Yeah. Damn, you know, I just I kind of wish there was like a like a people here. All right, oh, I mean, it's like. This is like freaky, since we're the only people in here. Yeah. Well, oh. this isn't just any any house or any mansion. This is like the Lent Mansion. You know. This is a very famous haunted I mean, place. <laughs> very ghost adventures. Multiple people. It's here. I mean, it's like a child spirit on this floor that plays with people. You hear that? Truck. <laughs> All right, I was say. Creepy though. Yeah. So, if you guys couldn't tell, we're uh, we're do creeped wanna, out here. Yeah, I'm gonna do. What? I'm gonna put this under each door. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> because see, then they you can't open. That's funny as hell. <laughs> Smart though. How freaky would it be if all the power in this house just went out? Or you just hear it outside the door. Jeffrey. Ah, oh, don't let's talk. Let's talk. Yes. <laughs> I don't think this stuff. I might sleep with the light on. Do it, I'm f keeping mine on. Oh, I can dim it. Oh, it's almost creepier. <laughs> oh, shit, dude. It's just a very creepy vibe in here. Yeah. Like, well, if you guys online want a creepy place to come stay, Lemp Mansion 10 yeah. out of 10. This is spooky as hell, just having to sleep here. I mean, you know, on that note, it's like. I was thinking of, of our buddy, Mr. Bless Nick, like just doing what we did. And, you know, he felt that creepiness in person that you can't convey over, over the camera. This is like at the top. Yeah, this is like, like pinnacle I, I, of creepy. I really don't want to be here, you know? I would go I to mean, a hotel I instantly. Mean, and I've still been thinking of that, going to the hotel as I'm sitting here talking. But it's like so hard. Um, I think we just have to try to like go to sleep. Yeah, we can make it a couple hours. Yeah, I've got chairs under the doors. <laughs> the doors have bolts. <laughs> and if I wake up and there's a face in that damn window, I'm jumping off that window. <laughs> I don't even see a window for me to jump out of. Well, I'd kick the air conditioner out and jump. Seems Shit, like we're on the freaking third floor as well. Yeah, we can't get out easily at all. Oh my god, what if there's a fire here? Oh my god. That's un it sounds pretty That's unlikely. scary, man. <laughs> Think about that. <laughs> I do have this. Oh, oh, give me that, motherfucker. Stay away, bitch. And he just walks to the door. I was going to say, that doesn't really do good against a ghost. Especially a cap gun. Here, <laughs> you keep that. No, no, you got that. Bring the spirits to you. <laughs> nice try, nice try. <laughs> well, are we going to get some sleep? Yeah. Okay, everybody, we'll see you in the morning. It's not over yet. Peace. But just know is. that we're doing this for you guys, and this is creepy. I don't, I don't yeah. want to be here. Yeah, I make another part of this whole thing in the end. I make zero dollars. <laughs> so I get, like, no money, and I'm, like, freaked. <laughs> You're here for the experience. Yeah, but it is an experience. It's something that I've done. Myself a pad. But yeah, no. If you well, want to get creeped, come here. We made it a night in the Lemp Mansion. Lemp Mansion, man. Not many people could say that. And we're the only people here.
How often does that happen to people? Yeah. Not a lot. Yeah, I would say not often. Okay, are we going to sign off? Yep. Okay. Okay, good night, everybody. I'm going to keep my camera right here in bed in case something happens. Hopefully it doesn't. Jesus. Protection. <laughs> good night. I don't... I think yours... What are all those doors? Don't ask me that. I don't even want to think about that. Man, what if all of a sudden... Shut the f*** up, you little bastard. Okay, guys, so it's the... Uh, Jesus. Okay, guys, so it's the morning after the Lemp Mansion investigation. Hold on, hold on a second. Okay, everybody, so it's the morning after the Lemp Mansion investigation. We're here. We're still the only ones here. That's where we slept last night. Pretty comfortable sleep. Very creepy getting to sleep, but we have to get out of here and go to our next investigation, but... A lot of times we like to go leave flowers on graves, but since we're already at the Lemp family grave, we're going to leave Ezekiel, the kid who was basically trapped up here, a little toy car to play with. So, Zeke, Ezekiel, you are here, buddy. This car is for you. right next to his ambulance right there. Thanks, Zeke. Thanks for not bothering us. Well, Jeff just now, while he was packing stuff up, captured, um, what? Well, this is the light downstairs, <clears throat> and I went to get, a, get my equipment. Hi. Oh, hey. Good morning. And this light, went on and off about five times. I turned my camera on at the end to try to capture it, and now I don't think it's gonna be on here. I, I don't know, but I waited at the very end to have him do it one more time. I'm gonna look through this a little bit more. That's all, that's in the actual basement where we kept all those, we captured all those stick figures. And as I'm packing up, I just noticed a flat flicker and that light was on. And then I started to walk, it went off, and it did that like three, three, four times. I went and grabbed my phone, actually my left pocket, turned it on, then I, I did come on, long story short, came on and off. I don't know if I captured it, but we're going to look back. It's about five minutes to film, but yeah. Do you want to say bye to Zeke over here? Okay. We'll see you, Zeke. Rest in peace. R.I.P., man. <laughs> okay. Well, we're going to head out of here, but we're not done yet. At the end of the day, I really do think that Jeff and I contacted somebody or something inside the Lemp Mansion that night. It was a terrifying night, and you can see in the footage that Jeff and I were genuinely scared. But regardless, it's an experience that I'll have with my dad until the end of time, and I'm so glad that we were able to share that with you guys online. But what do you think? Would you spend the night alone in the Lemp Mansion? I definitely would not. It was way too eerie in there to even be in there alone, let alone sleep there alone at night. Well, you know, maybe. Someone has a million dollars to offer me. And as always, stay spooky. <laughs>